Hey everyone, welcome back to another Pick a Card reading here on my YouTube channel, Into the Light. Thank you so much for being here today and clicking on this video. So today's Pick a Card reading is going to be about what kind of spouse will you be? So what kind of spouse will you be? We got three crystals to choose from today. We have crystal one with the desert rose. We have crystal two with the clear quartz and crystal three with the selenite crystal. So those are your three crystals to choose from today. Think about the question, what kind of spouse will I be? And let your intuition guide you to your crystal of choice. So you'll be able to find your timestamps in the description box or the comments down below. I'll see you at your pile. All right, so if you have chosen the Desert Rose, you found your way to your reading. So what kind of spouse will you be? Let's figure it out. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with the Gypsy Bunkle. I have four decks I'm using today. So those who have chosen the first pile, the Desert Rose, people also call it the Desert Rose Selenite, it has a couple of names. What kind of spouse will they be? What kind of spouse will they be? For pile one, Desert Rose. Oop, card dropped. <laughs> so we have Old Woman. So you might be a little bit older. Doesn't have to mean like necessarily gonna be really, really old when you are married, but you might be someone that is older. Perhaps you have like an older woman in your life, like a mother-in-law that you get really get along with. But we'll see. I'm just going to pull one more, and we have child. So we have old woman, money, sigh, conversation, and child. Okay. All right, I see now. So I'm sensing that you might get a lot of comments about perhaps you haven't... Um, when you get married, it's going to take you maybe like more than three years to get pregnant. Just a possibility. Like it's going to take you a while to get pregnant. Um, and that's because maybe because you're busy, you have a very busy work life. Like you're really focused on making money and your money. You just want to be really wealthy. Um, perhaps you started a job that you've really wanted for a really long time. And that's all you want to put your focus on. But there might be some conversations about you and, like, about your marriage and just figuring out, like, when are you going to have a child? Like, when is this going to happen for you? I feel like a lot of, like, your family members or your spouse's family members will be talking about that. But for you as a spouse, like, you are really focused on, you know, providing for your other spouse and for yourself and making sure that, you no, know, everything is looking good in the house. You're going to have a very nice home definitely going to be a little bit further you might have a home that has a little bit of like vintage accents or you might go to the thrift store and use a few like things from the thrift store um, to make it look really nice you might have like really big curtains that are like velvet and just really beautiful and bold okay so there's going to be conversations about you and I feel like a lot of people are going to be talking about like how wealthy you are and how much money you're getting but it's like People are like, they. you're focusing a lot on money. You're focusing a lot on work instead of focusing on building a family. That's something that will be coming up for you. Okay, let me actually get into the tarot next. Let's see what else. So with outer appearance, people might feel like you're just too busy to start a family right away. Like that's for one. You might get married a little bit older. Feel like you have a very talkative family okay so we have the four of cups hope you can see that there let me push them up
me see. Okay, so starting off, you have the Four of Cups. So, again, you might get married a little bit, like when you're older. It might take you a while for your spouse to, you know, propose to you. Or maybe you um, decide to get married, like, er like, later in your life. Okay, or maybe you did get engaged pretty early, but it's like you're waiting for the wedding. You're waiting to have enough money for the wedding, um, enough for that celebration here with that Four of Cups. But for you as a spouse, sometimes you may like take things a little too seriously, like a little bit too personally. You might get like hurt from like, minor things that your spouse may say and it's not to hurt you but it's like you just are really sensitive in that way so emotionally when you first start off um as a spouse you're gonna feel a little bit like stuck like a little bit like maybe you expect you have an expectation of how marriage life should be and um maybe you kind of stuck in that kind of like fairy tale and all of that which, like, not saying you're not going to have, like, a really happy marriage, but it's, like, in the beginning, it's going to be harder than you expected it to be, right? I feel like you'll be a little bit doubtful about yourself and figuring out, like, am I a good enough spouse? Like, um, does, does my spouse understand, like that I am going through a lot right now. Like it's nothing about them, it's about me. So yeah, I feel like you might be a little bit hurt or defensive in the beginning of your marriage, okay? And you're gonna need some like serious self-reflection, self okay? So you can be more in a positive focus. And I feel like that's why this side card here is also present in this reading because it's like literally in the middle. So, and it's looking to the past, right? So you might be focusing on a lot of past situations. You might have some past like buildup, emotional buildup that you haven't released yet. And that's going to come up in kind of like the early stages of your marriage for you to deal with, right? Yeah. So next card we have here is temperance. And with this being here, this is about having more self-control. This is also about like being more understanding and creating more harmony within your relationship. So definitely as a spouse, you will be trying to compromise a lot and be like a really good influence on your spouse. Like you're going to be, I feel like you're going to be the type of spouse that um, is going to be doing a lot of growing and through your experiences and things that you're doing in your life your spouse is going to be learning a lot from you as well okay but as well like as a spouse you're going to need to see like both sides of the argument like because you guys are really sensitive sometimes you just feel like i know sometimes you might victimize yourself in a sort of way you just feel like really sad about it so you don't really hear your your spouse's side um, so this is about looking at both sides of the argument, making sure that you understand where they're coming from and as well that they understand where you're coming from, okay? So yeah. But I feel like, again, like with this under the money card here, that you'll be able to have a lot of um, your goals and aspirations just coming true because this money is flowing in. And I feel like you'll notice that more good things will happen to you when you get more um, in harmony with your spouse. Okay? So that's what I'm sensing there. And then we have the Six of Swords. So, yeah, again, you guys are going to be moving into, like, more common waters. Like, you're going to be moving away from any trouble from the past, you know? And I feel like you guys are going to be able to create this new perspective and, you know, have a new start in your relationship. I feel like things might be moving a little bit slow in your your new marriage because there's still a lot of um, things that you guys need to learn from and transform. Um, you might also be, like, heading to, like, move somewhere, like, overseas. Because even in the back here, I don't know if you can see it, but there's, like, a little ship. Uh, will it focus? Hold on. 
So see that in the back, there's a ship. So I feel like maybe your spouse might go somewhere for work or you might go for, for somewhere for work and it's overseas. I'm also seeing with the world here, that's another travel indication. So that might be a little bit of a reason why you're kind of like this side. Because this woman looks like like a wife and she's just like waiting for her husband to come back, you know? So it's like maybe that's another part of your marriage that your spouse works overseas. So that's why you're kind of maybe at home and you're making a lot of money taking care of like the house on your own for a little bit and that's why this marriage might be going a little slow and it might take a while for you guys to actually have a child and start like a family because you guys are both working on you know work and that might be something that's part of your arguments is that like you guys wish that you could spend more time with each other but it's like you gotta do what you gotta do you gotta like pay the bills you know but again six of swords this is like you guys need to be able to communicate with each other and I feel like you'll definitely begin like having more of a positive view in your marriage and you'll be able to get through like anything when you're when you have that mutual uh, transparency and that you guys cooperate and that will help you solve like any problems that may arise that within your marriage not saying that they're big ones but they're like minor things that like like minor hiccups that kind of bother you right maybe you feel like as well if your spouse is working overseas like they're working like far from your home maybe you feel like really sad and alone sometimes and you just wish they were back because i sense that with the four of cups too okay the six of pentacles here i feel like you guys will definitely be able to um bring in a lot of money for each other i feel like you guys will be like helping society a lot as well i'm also sensing that you guys will be able to you guys will need to like dig a little deeper into your desires and what you want in this relationship as well okay but i feel like for you guys that as a spouse you're going to be really generous Right, you're going to be will really willing to try new things and hear your spouse out. Okay, and I feel like through conversations, um, you're very giving. So anything your spouse says, you're like, you know what? Okay, I understand. Like even if you're sad about it, you're going to let your spouse, you know, do what's best for them. Okay, but at the end of your work situations, because I feel like work is very apparent here and you guys are going to be working through a lot of um, just minor hiccups here in the early parts of your marriage that the world card is here and it's right under the child card. So I feel like finally you're going to be able to have the child, you're going to be able to uh, relocate in a place where you could have a child too because I feel like perhaps in the first start of your marriage the home that you're living in doesn't really you know, suit a family. So you might also be like working really hard because you want to like get a home that is like a lot bigger and a lot nicer for your family as well. And I feel like as a spouse, you're very, they can depend on you. You know, as a spouse, you're very um, dependable. You provide them with that freedom to be themselves. And even if they're working overseas or just really far, you allow them to do things like that, you know? Um, you're a spouse that also works really hard and you, you're really happy for everything that your spouse is doing for themselves and for the family, right? Yeah. This relationship helps you um, with your independency as well. I'm noticing that. Okay. So, so here we have the Tao Oracle, the Tao One. Tao Oracle. Yeah. What kind of spouse will you be? Yeah, so we have the arousing. See how that lightning there. So it says a shock, upheaval, dramatic power shifts, unpredictability, a shakeup that's a wake up. So I feel like definitely there's going to be like a part earlier in your marriage that makes you kind of, you know, 
really honestly pretty sad you know like something that you didn't expect it to be but it's like you guys are going to need to short sort through those problems because only things that like like things that cause conflict that arises in your life is because there's something that you haven't healed from there's something that is being brought to your attention is being brought to your attention in a dramatic way and i also see that with the conflict card um maybe sometimes in the beginning of your relationship you butt heads and that's why you need to see like both sides of the argument you need to be able to have like happy compromises um within your your marriage here especially in the early part there's also competitiveness so i feel like you both are working really hard and you're making like a good amount of money but it's like maybe your spouse wants to be able to make more than you because of whatever reason so there might be a little bit of conflict there might be a little like butting heads like it's not easy like marriage isn't as easy as people like make it seem in the movies and all that sorry card dropped yeah, so we have inner alchemy, mastery, spiritual renewal, contain, discerning wisdom, rejuvenation. So again, you guys are going to be needing to look on the inside, you know, really connect with yourself, connect with your emotions and what you need to thrive in a relationship. Like you guys are definitely going to be able to, you know, get through all of this as long as you, you know, look inside for some wisdom because I feel like you might be ignoring things that you want or need in a relationship because you're just trying not to have any conflict or you're just bottling things up and that's not okay you need to like pour that all out all right so last cards here the angel answers let's see what else we got wow 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 we got communicate clearly so yeah so you guys are definitely going to need to communicate clearly with each other what you want your ideas Okay, how you feel, especially if you guys do have a little bit of a distance in the beginning of your relationship, or maybe your spouse works overseas, or maybe you work overseas, it's going to be, communication might be a little hard, but that's only if you make it hard, you know? Let's see what else we got. Yeah, we've got let go. I think this is about like letting go of the past like if there is kind of mistakes that your spouse made like let go of it like don't make it such a big issue I guess like definitely talk about it but don't have that resentment because when that resentment builds up then it's going to be harder for you to understand each other you know because even with marriage like you guys do talk it out but it's like you can't just let those things bother you forever because it's someone you're going to be with for the rest of your life, you know? So you can't just like live together and like act like roommates because you're not roommates. You're spouses. I have in the near future. So I feel like in the near future, you're going to figure out like who your spouse may be maybe you already have that idea maybe you're already in a relationship with this person or maybe in the near future they may propose to you one more card <clears throat> wow and we got yes so i think that com <laughs> confirms what i'm saying you guys might be proposed to in the near future so that's what I got for you guys. If you enjoyed that reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see y'all in the next one. Bye now. All right, so if you have chosen the clear quartz, you found your way to your reading. So what kind of spouse will you be? And possibly a little bit about marriage life, because that's what happened with the first pile. So let's figure it out. Those who have chosen the clear quartz crystal, actually, I think I started with the gypsy oracle. Those who have started the, <laughs> those who have chosen the clear quartz crystal, what kind of spouse will they be? So we have reunion, pleasure seekers, So these oracle cards, you can read them upright or reverse. Just to put that out there. Because I usually don't read, um, there's too many that can't read. 
I usually don't read oracle cards reversed unless they do have reversed meaning, which these do. Ah, cards dropped on the floor. Okay, we're gonna do that again. I just need one more card. Too many cards dropped on the floor. Oh, priest. Okay. So we have reunion, pleasure seekers, despair in reverse, friend in reversed, and rehab priest. Also, my nails are not dirty, if you can tell, but like I have paint, like I was painting, so there's paint under my nail beds, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I had to put it out there because I'm self-conscious. Anyways, so with Reunion out here, this is definitely somebody from um, someone that you've known in your life before. Okay. Um... But it's like maybe perhaps you guys were talking, you guys were just like friends and then you like stopped talking and then you started talking again. You had that reunion and then you just hit it off that way. Okay, well, also with reunion, I'm sensing like, you know, the reunion of soulmates, the reunion of twin flames. So that could be really possible here. But the type of spouse that you'll be I feel like you'll be thinking a lot about how you can get and get you and your spouse involved in different things, like new adventurous things. Because even though I'm seeing reunion, I feel like because it's beside the pleasure seekers, I feel like you guys are going to be able to, as a spouse, you want to be able to like try new adventurous things with your spouse. You want to go to new places. You want to try new foods, just stuff like that. I feel like with your marriage, you're going to always make it seem like you just got married. Like you're always going to make it seem like it's your honeymoon. You're always going to make it seem like it's your wedding day. That's what I'm sensing with the reunion. Like you guys are always going to be constantly, you know, putting so much love into your relationship and like always doing things together. And every day it's a new thing that you're doing. Even if it's like an hour of your day, you're always like putting time and effort towards your partner. So there's going to be a lot of like good times and good experiences every single day of your marriage even if you guys are at work when your spouse comes home or when you come home your spouse might like make you dinner make sure that you have a nice bath like every day is going to feel like a honeymoon with your marriage we do have despair and friend in reversed so i feel like you guys are going to be focusing a lot on your marriage and focusing a lot on each other which like obviously you should because that's your husband or that's your wife. But I feel like because of this, you might have a few friends that, you know, are really upset because it's like, damn, you're married now and like you're always with your spouse. You're always doing this and that. So I feel like you guys are going to possibly lose a few friends. But if you lose them, that's because they don't understand marriage life. They don't understand that. I feel like you guys might get married a little bit young as well like maybe you'll be in like your for some people you might get married like in your your 20s so your other friends like in your 20s it's really different because some people are married some people are engaged some people have kids some people are still in school some people aren't in school or doing anything some people are still living with their parents some people are living on their own so there's like a whole bunch of mix so the group of friends that you have that understand marriage that understand relationships will still be in your life those people that have been like your best best friends those people won't leave you but like kind of like your newer friends um out of that bunch will kind of like feel bad like they'll be like why like they feel like unwanted <laughs> but it's because you're married so it's like what the heck and then we also have priests which is about spiritual religious values so I feel like there's going to be a lot of um spirituality embedded in your relationship maybe both of you are spiritual we have a lot of spiritual coincidences um I feel like, again, like with your marriage, you're going to feel like this is really meant to happen. You're going to feel really happy, like you're in the, 
right place at the right time and that you're always being guided and protected by spirit like you're always getting those synchronicities and messages even if you're in a lovely relationship like you're always going to be guided by spirit okay so let's get into the tarot so what kind of spouse will you be what kind of spouse will you be those who have chosen the clear courts kind of spouse will you be clear courts what kind of spouse will you be hmm came out in the first pile too four of cups too many Wow, back of the deck, we have the Three of Cups. Awesome. Okay, definitely a happy marriage, good times, lots of love, lots of kisses, lots of hugs. You see all of that? Okay, so let's start off with the Two of Swords. I feel like with this right under reunion card, too, it's like um, maybe even before you get married, like you're going to have like thoughts um like maybe you guys have been engaged before maybe you've had a marriage before or maybe you just had like a really good like long relationship and then it ended so you guys might be a little worried about stepping into marriage like you're really afraid about like what if things don't work out what if things like don't happen so instead of you expressing this to your spouse you might repress these emotions and keep it in and you might pretend to be like cool and fine, but really like on the inside, you're really stressed out about this. Um, so I feel like your spouse is going to be able to notice these things and you might like keep it out. Like you'd be like, oh no, it's fine. Everything's okay. Maybe that's just because you're not ready to express that. But like you have to let your thoughts be free. See those birds just flying in the background? You got to let your thoughts be free, right? So that's something to acknowledge. And I feel like that's going to be like a really good thing to do, especially before you get married or just like earlier in your relationship, because it's really going to show you what kind of spouse you have and like what kind of spouse they are, because they'll be able to, you know, get those emotions that you're bottling up out. And they're going to be able to reassure you that everything's going to be good. Everything's going to be fine. And they're going to be able to reassure you about like how much they love you and care about you and nothing bad will happen, you know, and just like get those thoughts out your mind, right? So that's what I'm seeing again with the Four of Cups. You might have some doubt or some sort of hesitation in the beginning of your marriage, you know, which is a little bit of a blockage. Maybe you're just really sensitive or maybe you're also just an introvert and it's like, being in a marriage, like a marriage kind of scares you because somebody has to be there every day, every second, you know? And as an introvert, you're like, damn, I really got to give up my space, even though I love you, but huh? <laughs> so you guys do need to do some self-reflection and just be honest with yourself. And yeah, see like the love that is in front of you. Don't worry about the past. Don't worry about like things that happen to you and like worrying about if they'll happen to you again. Um, so yeah, be able to have a little bit more introspection in regards to relationships, okay? But you might be a little bit hesitant in the, in the beginning because, again, you might be introverted. You might feel like, oh, I'm a little bit scared, like you get a little bit of cold feet. But your spouse is going to be there to remind you that everything's fine, everything's going well, and that they love you, you know? And I see that again because this these two cards are totally opposite from these three, all right? So with the page of wands in the middle here... I feel like your spouse might have like might be a little bit a kid at heart or they're just young at heart so they're very loving adventurous you know they're very fresh uh fresh of like ideas they might have like a really great style you know they're very creative they're always coming up with different 
new insights to like help you out of your funk you know like maybe you tell your spouse something and they just like go back and be like oh I remember you said this so maybe this is why you might be feeling this way because in the past you're saying this and that and they just give you insight that like makes you understand like wow I didn't even notice these things about myself but you notice these things about me right so as well if you ever feel a little bit scared or maybe you don't want to do something like maybe you plan something out and you don't want to do it, your spouse is going to be willing to go in a new direction. Like, they'll be like, all right, forget those past plans. You don't like this. You don't want to be here. So let's do something else. What do you suggest? Like, your partner is always going to be fully attentive of your needs. But I feel like as well, if you, you as a spouse too, you do have this childlike tendency about you too. You're also somebody that has a lot of fresh ideas as well. That's why you guys are always going to keep this marriage fresh. You're always going to make it feel like you're on a honeymoon because you're very actively putting love into this marriage, right? Okay. But yeah, again, like you... You guys know how to keep a relationship alive and exciting, right? So that's really great about this. And again, we have the four of wands. <laughs> so it's like you always have this relationship feeling like a honeymoon, like everything's going well, everything's doing good, you know, as well. You guys are going to be like celebrating a lot. You'll be celebrating even like things like like minor things, like if something happens really good at you for you at work, you're gonna be celebrating that, just everything. Like there's gonna be a lot of joy in this relationship too. And I feel like you guys will both have the freedom to be your individual selves, um, but always have respect and time for each other. Yeah, I feel like you'll both be really proud of your achievements. You're gonna be really happy about this marriage. You're gonna have that domestic harmony that you've always wanted. I feel like as well as a spouse, you're going to be able to, you know, you're going to be able to, whenever your spouse comes to you with something that they're kind of feeling sad or down about, you're going to be able to come to your spouse and be like, hey, like, you'll be able to talk them out of, you know, those negative thoughts or talk them out of, you know, feeling really down because you're somebody that likes to dump out that emotional baggage. Like, you're like, nope we're not going to bring that here and you have a good way with your work so your spouse really loves that about you too um and you really lighten up your spouse's lives and lighten up the lives of everybody around you as well i feel like when you get married too you're going to be really happy like this is like a whole different level of confidence that you have as well and again as a spouse this is just like such a blessing because you both will bring a lot of stability into your home. You're gonna have a really nice home. I feel like a lot of people are gonna to wanna to come over and see your place because it just looks good. Like I feel like both of you are really stylish. So your house is gonna look really good. Again, you're gonna have like a good life. You're gonna be able to feel like emotionally and um, financially secure. You're going to have, you're going to feel like you've had all the worldly successes you could have possible, like all those good karmas coming in and you have long lasting security. You're going to be able to have like beautiful house, beautiful kids, and you're going to be really happy with like all of your achievements. I feel like you're going to keep that happiness around the house as a spouse. Like you're going to feel like, look where I am. Like I'm so grateful to be here. Why would I ever be sad? Why would I ever be upset? So you're going to be able to keep really positive. Um, in your marriage and keep everybody else positive okay so let's get into your Tao Oracle I love this card deck it's so pretty oh oh my god <laughs> Bruh. okay I guess these cards really wanted to come out so we have the turning point this is return, the start of new cycle, right timing, regeneration, inevitability, and steady improvements. So again, like your relationship, again with that reunion card too, it's like maybe you feel like this is a new start, you know, this is a new start, we're married now, we're going to be living together forever and ever, and like you guys are going to have steady improvements and every day you're going to do something that, you know, shows that you love each other, um, 
and you're respectful of each other and you're going to feel like this is the right time like this is the right time for us to get married there's a lot of great things going for each other we have our own individual lives but we also are you know together in unity so it's going to feel really good for you I also got the well that came out here. So this is seeking truth, wisdom, insight, intuitive knowing, returning to the source, getting to the bottom of things. So I feel like you and your spouse are very spiritual as well and just very like enlightened. You guys both provide each other with wisdom or insight on things that you're going through in life because you guys have been through a lot of like different experiences. You can um, really help each other like figure out like what would be best, you know, because you guys have been through it. You guys have lived it. So you guys also have this intuitive knowing that you're right for each other and this is right to, and this is supposed to be, you know? And I feel like as well in the mar in your marriage, like, oh, this is right under four of cups too. So it's like your spouses want to get, wants to get to the bottom of things. Like you're feeling like hesitation or any doubt, like they're going to be like, okay, what's going on? Like you're not going to feel sad for a really long time because your spouse is going to want to deal with the issue right now. Like... They're not going, like, I'll obviously give you space to, like, think and give you time, but it's like they're not going to let that trail out for till the end of the week, you know? And also, your spouse is never going to let you go to bed without, like, saying I love you, and I feel like it's the same way for you. Like, that's your dynamic. Like, you want to keep so much love in this relationship and acknowledge that you both love each other. That's how you're going to keep on going. Okay. So these are the other two cards that came out. We have contemplation, gaining overview, detached observation, increased understanding, solitude, integration through reflection. So again, this is about kind of looking at the, the any issues that arises from like an objective stance, like why is this happening? Like detaching from the issue itself and trying to understand the feelings, the emotions, like why were these feelings triggered? What could we do with it? So I feel like you and your spouse are definitely going to be really active on like um, diffusing any issues. And when you do, it's going to increase your understanding of each other. So that is beautiful. And then we have the attraction of opposites, seduction, temptation, magnetism, a passion encounter, meeting halfway, coupling, sexual union. So you guys, maybe there's a little bit of things about you two that are a little bit opposite, but you have a very strong mutual um, attraction to each other, very seductive. This is also how you're going to keep your marriage going really like on 10 because you guys just have that sexual attraction. You have that magnetism. Like you guys are very passionate. Every time you kiss, every time you like hug, like it's very passionate and filled with love because you guys respect each other so much. Like there's so much love there. So let's finish off the angel answer cards. Yeah. Oops. I feel like as well as like a spouse, you guys are really going to like nature. You guys like going to like rivers and like oceans and beaches to swim. At nighttime, you like taking night walks, especially if it's a full moon. You guys will do that. I sense out this card. As well, if it's raining, sometimes your spouse might be like, let's go out for a walk or something. Or let's go for a drive. There's something else here. Great. So we have, it's up to you. So it's like, it's up to you too to keep this relationship flowing, obviously. Like, you guys are going to do that because it's like, you have so much love for each other, so much respect for each other. And then we have success. So you both are really successful. People are going to be really successful in this relationship. This is happiness, everlasting happiness, really great times. Like obviously with every marriage, there's like ups and downs, but you guys will get through every obstacle. And every time you get through an obstacle, it deepens your understanding of each other. And then we got yes. So like this is the binding of the sun and the moon. So again, like there's a lot of spiritual um synchronicities coming up in this deck so yes you guys are going to get married you guys are really going to um you know have like a good marriage life and you're going to be a really great spouse and you're going to be a really great parent as well so that's what i got for you that chose pile two if you enjoy that reading please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i hope to see y'all in the next one bye now
All right, so if you have chosen the selenite crystal, you found your way to your reading. So what kind of spouse will you be? What will marriage life be like? Let's figure it out. Okay. Let's turn the brightness here. So we're gonna get started with the Gypsy Oracle card. So what kind of spouse will you be? So we have thought. Okay. Actually, let me put these two back. Let me get a full shuffle first, please, and thank you. Oh my okay. So we have thought, oh, can you see, can you see? We have thought, frivolity, letter, constellation, con. Consolidation, consolidation, sorry. Consolidation and conversation. I need to get new glasses, oh my goodness, okay. So what kind of spouse will you be? I feel like you're going to be the type of spouse that just like always has the right answers. <laughs> like you always know what's up. You always know what to do. Um, your spouse might see you as like little smarty pants or you just always have something new to say. Um, because you guys are always like forward facing. Like that's what this card is talking about. Like you bring a lot of positivity into the relationship and that's because you kind of feel like you have all the right answers. You know what is right. You know what to do. Um, and I see that again with the letter as well. Like, I feel like you're also the type of spouse that likes to write little letters to your spouse, like in the morning, or like if you make them lunch, you'll put like little letters in their like lunch boxes, things like that. Um, you might be a little bit more traditional of a spouse as well. Okay, you might like to have more phone calls. Uh, maybe emails with your spouse more than just like texting. I feel like as well, like you're going to be helping your spouse a lot in regards to um, financial stuff. I feel like you're going to be more, you're financially like um, stable than your spouse might be in the beginning of your marriage because they're still trying to get things together like you might be like a full-on like entrepreneur you have your own business and your spouse is probably doing a full-time job that's like maybe they're making like a good amount an hour but like not as much as you are okay I feel like the family is going to be really active in your spouse's life like your spouse is like um mother father just their family is going to be really active so your in-laws are going to be a lot um around a lot and I feel like your in-laws, I feel like you're going to get a lot of help from, like, your family side, too, with that, with these cards together. Perhaps you might, like, um, end up in a situation where, you know, you're moving or something and your in-laws just really want to help out and, like, help you with, um, you know, buying furniture, food, whatever. So I feel like definitely with your marriage, like, your family is also very active in your marriage. You know, they don't have to, like, live with you, obviously, but they're just very active in your marriage. Okay, let's see what else we got here. What kind of spouse will you be? Okay, so we have the sun. So you're going to be really happy, cheerful, loving. Like, you always have, like, an, some sort of insight like to figure out a situation, some sort of clarity. Again, you see that queen of wands. You guys might actually be entrepreneurs. You might have your own business here. That's what I'm sensing here. You're just very like advanced when it comes to work. Yep, and we have the magician coming out. So you guys are really great manifestors. So it's like you've always got something going for you. Like it's always a good time. We have the hierophant. Damn, these are a lot of major arcanas. Wow, okay. 
and then the eight of wands is in the back. So again, maybe it's something that you do for work has to do with communication as well. Um, maybe you're just constantly like working with clients or talking to clients as well. That's what I'm sensing there. So. So with the sun, we also have two sunflowers popping up here. So you might really like sunflowers. You could be really magnetic, like you have a magnetic um, attention on you, attraction. But as a spouse, like you really want to accomplish a lot of beautiful things in love, right? It's like you want to be able to understand your partner full force. You want to bring all that positivity into your relationship. You want to be able to have that growth for yourself, for your relationship, and for your spouse. Be really active of, you know, believing in your spouse of doing anything that they want to. Um, as a spouse, you're very, like, self-confident as well. I feel like you attract people around you very easily. Like, a lot of people really like you and want to befriend you. Like, you just have such bright energy. You're very beautiful. Um, and you're very accepting of your partner. And of, and of who they are. I feel like as well, like you, you understand this relationship is very fulfilling. So you can release any past doubts and just be liberated for the past doubts or fears that you had when it, in regards of relationships as well. Um, but also with the sun, I feel like you guys are very active communicators in your relationship. Like you're always providing that insight once again. And with the queen of wands here, sorry, there's some there's a fluff on my arm with the queen of wands here again like i'm sensing you guys can be entrepreneurs you have just magnetic energy okay i feel like you guys are very stylish as well like as a spouse like you're always gonna have like a different like hairstyle you're gonna have like a different like um you'll always have like a different outfit like obviously if you're making that money go ahead and buy that outfit go ahead and buy those new shoes but you always just look really great like you look good you're very attractive you have a leader energy here you know where you're going you know what you want to do in life and you really brighten up like the atmosphere of your house of your marriage you know like i feel like you bring a lot of light into your marriage as well you're really dedicated to your partner and very friendly and loving, okay? That's something that your partner loves about you as well. You're magnetic not only to them, but to the world. <laughs> so we have the magician as well here. So again, you guys have a strong ability to manifest anything you want. And I feel like you take a lot of initiative in the relationship and you don't feel bad about it. Like, I feel like this relationship, you definitely wear the pants, like 100%. Like, obviously, it has to be 50-50, like, one leg and the other, but it's, like, low-key, you definitely wear the pants. Um, but that's because you already realize your potential. You already know who you want to be, where you want to go, and I feel like you're very actively um, confident in yourself throughout your day-to-day, -day, where your spouse is, like, still trying to get up to your level here, Okay. I feel like, again, in your marriage, you're going to be able to adapt to, like, different circumstances and, like, you're always going to be in the flow. And even if something happens that uh, bothers you, maybe at work or something, like, you don't let that affect your whole energy. Like, you can really transmute that energy into something creative, you know? And then we have the Hierophant. So, I wonder if this is focused. Okay, so with the Hierophant here, I feel like you guys are, maybe you share a same similar belief system as well, so you guys can really get along in that way. You guys are always having conversations, like really deep conversations about life and what it means to be alive and just deep conversations about your values. Maybe you guys have a more, again, traditional marriage because remember earlier I thought, like I said, like you guys might have more of a traditional look and in marriage, like you guys definitely have some traditional rules or ceremonies that you follow. Um, you know how to act properly out in public. I feel like you guys might have like a spiritual teacher or just somebody that you both go to talk to um, that really helps with your marriage as well. Okay. Yeah, and I feel like you guys do have that independent nature. Like, you have your individuality as well. Okay, so 
Let's see what else we got here. The Tao Oracle cards. Move these. Okay, now Tao Oracle. What kind of spouse will you be? Just a little bit more about this marriage for Selenite Crystal. So we have treading. It says conduct, self-awareness. Let's see if we can focus it. Self-awareness, proceed with caution and sensitivity, correct behavior, act responsibility. Uh, act responsibly. See, as I said, like you guys know how to act in public. Um, and it's like you guys don't have like, I feel like this is a really grown relationship. Like you guys are traditionally have traditional values. Like, um, again, you're very self-aware as a partner, very self-aware, very self-confident. And you know how to get through situations really, really easily because you take time. Like you have a lot of caution when it comes to things that are really um, serious and you, again, you proceed with caution and sensitivity. I feel like you're also the type of spouse that knows how to correct your spouse's behavior. Like if they say something wrong or if they do something wrong, you lightly, gently correct their behavior. Okay, and another card that we got out here was youthfully, youthful fully. So it says impulsiveness, immaturity, bluffing, ignorance, learning, impatience, reckless behavior. So I feel like your spouse can be this way, like a little bit like more youthful and they're still learning, right? And they can be a little bit impulsive, but it's like you're very careful. You know how to act, like you know how to um, handle your partner's emotions. Like I feel like these are two like different energies and that's why I kind of said like I feel like you guys are just more so the ones that wear the pants because you're just more mature than your spouse is, but you love them all the same, you know? Like they, because there can be a little bit more youthful, you can bring that youthfulness to you. So it's a good balance, but um, sometimes it could be a little bit hard for you um, because you guys do have a little bit of like opposition here but you don't let that stop you. Like you're always trying to unlight, like lighten up the situation, lighten up the mood. We also have abundance here. So you both will be very abundant. I feel like, again, you guys are entrepreneurs. You're very, you reap those rewards, those inner riches. Like you understand yourself, you know yourself. You're abundant from the inside out, right? And it shows up. You're very generous people. Again, you can manifest this abundance all the time, anytime. Um, within your marriage. Okay, last card we have here is um, oppression. Restriction, exhaustion, depression, depleted resources, feeling cut off, punishment, confinement. Um, yeah, I feel like there might be a part in your marriage where you're going to need to seek like a spiritual advisor, a spiritual teacher, a guru, whoever, um, that you'll both need to go to, like some kind of counselor, um just like later in your marriage perhaps because maybe there is some times where you do butt heads yeah some someone feels a little cut off or someone feels like a little bit like exhausted or just feels like they're not doing enough or bringing enough to the table okay that might happen and that's why you might need to see like some kind of like spiritual guru type person counselor which is also fine it's good like it's better you actually seek someone to help through your marriage than to um keep things inside you know so let's see what else we got here the angel answers before you finish off this reading yeah so we have reconsider so i feel like oh there's also a compromise. I didn't even see that drop. One card fell as well. So we have compromise. So again, you guys are going to be needing to come to a certain compromise um, in your relationship. You might compromise to, you know, go see someone, talk to someone, um, especially if your life is a lot more busier, just go, go, go. And there's a little bit more slow, like there is going to be times where you do butt heads. So you might have to reconsider something here. Reconsider maybe a sort of lifestyle. Maybe you're going to need to lessen um, the amount of work that you do. 
I don't know. Something to reconsider here. Yeah, meditation brings answers, so always search within to find those answers, you know? Get one more card here. And then we have unlikely. <sighs> There's something you might figure out that you don't really like about this marriage. I'm just going to say that and leave it at that. So. That was your reading. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see y'all in the next one. Bye now.